Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous tutorial we wrote a python program to print a pattern. That is we wrote a python program to print stars in the right triangle shape. We can print stars in right triangle shape in different ways. In the previous tutorial we used nested for loop. So today I'll show you how we can write this program using nested while loops. I won't explain you how this program works today because I already explained you about this in the previous tutorial. So you can go and watch that. Here we'll see how we can convert a for loop to while loop. Okay, so here this is the program which we discussed in the previous tutorial. And in this program we used two for loop that is the nested for loop, right? So first we'll talk about the first for loop. This is the for loop for row. So when I take for i in range n, here i is the variable name. Here I took range as n, it will take range as 0 to n. So if I enter n value as 3 here, so range will be from 0 to 3. So it will give output as 0, 1 and 2. Three numbers. And here the end value is exclusive in the range function. Initially i value will be 0. It will execute the for loop body. Then control again goes to this for loop. It will take the next value for i that is nothing but 1 and it will execute the for loop body. After completing the execution of the for loop body, control again goes to this for loop and i value will be incremented. That is nothing but next value will be taken as i value. So in the for loop what will happen is the value for i will be initialized automatically and also after executing the for loop body, next value for i is initialized automatically. So in other way, I can say the initialization and the decrement or increment of the i. Here i is the variable, right? So incrementer or decrement of i will be done automatically. We don't need to do anything in this for loop. But while using the while loop, we need to initialize the variable. Okay, we need to do this and we need to take a condition. So while loop condition, next we need to take incrementer or decrementer, otherwise the loop will become infinite. So while using the while loop, we need to initialize the variable, we need to take the condition and we need to take the incrementer or decrementer. But in the for loop, we don't need to do anything. It will initialize the variable as well as it will increment or decrement the i value automatically. Here we are converting the for loop to while loop, right? So for that what we need to do initialize take condition increment or decrement i. So first we'll talk about the initialize. So here we took variable as i. So we need to initialize i before taking the while condition. So here we can say i took range as 0 to n. So initially i value will be 0. So we need to initialize i as 0 in our program. So here in the program instead of this for loop we are taking while loop. So before taking while loop, I need to initialize the variable i. So I'll take i as 0, right? Next here, I need to take the condition while, the while keyword. After that, I need to take the condition. So what is the condition for this program? So here condition is nothing but i should be always less than n. If i becomes equal to n, then stop the execution. Here if i took n as 3, the i value will be 0. So the first row will be 0. Second row will be 1. Third row will be 2. So when i value becomes 3, I need to stop the execution, right? So i should be always less than n. Then only execute the while body. Here also we can see for i in range 0 to n. Here n is exclusive in the range function, right? So it will give 0, 1, 2 only. When i value becomes 2, it will execute the for loop body. When control again comes to here, it won't go for the next value, right? It will stop the execution. So when i value becomes 3, we need to stop the execution. So 3 is nothing but n value. So here, I need to take the condition like this. And in this while loop, I need to take incrementer. So here, I'll increment i as i is equal to i plus 1. Here, we can see first i value will be 0, next 1, next 2. That is nothing but we need to increment i value by 1, right? In each iteration. That's why I took i is equal to i plus 1. Now we converted the outer for loop to while loop. We have initializer, we have condition and we have incrementer here. Next we need to convert this jth for loop. So for this here we can see j is the variable. So first I need to initialize that. So I'll take here j is equal to 
and here we can see initially for j in range 0 to i plus 1 so initial j value will be 0 so i'll take j value as 0 here i is nothing but row j is nothing but column so we are taking the column from 0 that's why i initialize the first column as 0 and here i need to take while condition while j is less than i plus 1 so here we can see this is the end value here we are taking the range from 0 to i plus 1 right so i plus 1 is nothing but the end value when that is the exclusive at that time we need to stop the execution so that's why here i took when j is less than i plus 1 execute the while body if j becomes equal to i plus 1 stop the execution right next we need to print star next here we need to take the incrementer j is equal to j plus 1 that is because here we'll take column like this 0 1 2 3 4 like that right so we need to increment j by 1 in each iteration okay so now we are done with the program so let's execute this so if i enter number of row as 5 here we can see the output how this program works first it will ask the user to enter the number of rows if i enter number of row as 3 n becomes 3 next i is initialized to 0 next it will check whether i is less than n so i is 0 and n is 3 so 0 is less than 3 true right so it will execute the while body here j is initialized to 0 next it will check whether j is less than i plus 1 i value is 0 0 plus 1 is nothing but 1 and j value is 0 0 is less than 1 true so it will print a star so we'll get star in the first row next it will increment the j value so j value becomes 1 so it will again go to here while condition here now j value is 1 and i plus 1 is 1 so 1 is less than 1 no the condition become false so it will execute this condition it will come out of the while loop and it will execute i is equal to i plus 1 now i value becomes 1 okay next it will execute the print function so control will go to the next line again control goes to the while condition now i value is 1 1 is less than 3 yes it is true so j again becomes 0 and it will check whether j is less than i plus 1 i plus 1 is nothing but 2 because i value is 1 and j value is 0 0 is less than 2 true so it will print a star and j value will be incremented by 1 so j value becomes 1 again control go to the while condition j is less than i plus 1 j is 1 so 1 is less than 2 true so it will print a star again j will be incremented j value becomes 2 so it will again go to the while condition 2 is less than 2 no so it will come out of the while loop and it will execute i equal to i plus 1 so i value becomes 2 and it will execute print function so control go to the next line again control goes to the while condition i value is now 2 2 is less than 3 true so it will execute j is equal to 0 so j becomes 0 while j is less than i plus 1 0 is less than i plus 1 i is 2 so 0 is less than 3 yes it will execute print function it will print a star j value becomes 1 now so now again control goes to here 1 is less than 3 true so it will print a star and again j value will be incremented j value becomes 2 now again control goes to here 2 is less than 3 true so it will again print a star and j will be incremented to 3 now again it will check whether 3 is less than 3 no this condition become false it will execute this i is equal to i plus 1 so i value becomes 3 now now it will execute print function so control goes to the next line now again control goes to the while condition 3 is less than 3 no it is false so it will come out of this while loop and it will stop the execution that's why we'll get output like this okay so this is about this pattern program so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care